Good morning, everyone. On Tuesday the 8th, November the 8th, 2022. Anyway, I just had my coffee. Uh, it's 8.20 in the morning in New York. Uh, doing my daily practice of, always go back to page one, which is Active Imagination by the Great Genius psychiatrist, psychologist, Carl Gustav Jung, where we're going to drill this every day, practice, 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 active imagination. Number one, concentrate, helps to grow the mind, very important, hydrate, take your vitamins, go for walks, whatever, whatever you can activate, whatever you can trigger vitality into your mind that will help you focus the mind and grow the mind it's very helpful so let's go to number two which is focus on a dream number three let the unconscious speak number four generate an artifact on paper on paper a drawing this is a sketchbook uh my daily practice of doing a quantum drawing and number five analyze the message um I've been having um I've been having these dreams that are that are very they're very vivid but, but they're in fragments they're uh they're basically fragments of forming content uh one was pretty disgusting last night it was like a pimple in my back that my mom was looking at my mom passed away and here's mother uh the mother nurturing um, sensibility of her hands, healing, taking care of something that I couldn't reach. Um, uh, this little bump in my back that was bothering me and my mom came and took care of it in my dream. Um, yesterday was a really wild day for me because maybe this is triggering this drawing here. Uh, I was sitting in my yard and I looked in the window and I looked like there was a person with a white blouse. I saw like a white blouse in the window and then it moved very quickly. It moved like in this direction. It almost kind of had this kind of shape when I saw it in the window. And then I asked the guy that was inside the house, were you in the living room? He said, no, I was not. And and his wife was wearing a black t-shirt. So that was not the case. So I saw something in the imaginary and energy. We can call it a spirit, we can call it an energy, we can call it an illusion, we can call it a lot of stuff. But when we work with Carl Jung, active imagination, we try to use everything that we can, that we see through the eye. The eye, we want to be able to refine the eye, refine the eye almost like a real definable line. That's why it's very important to draw. The drawing starts like this. What I start is drawing literally energy. And remember, uh, quantum mechanics is a very simple fundamental uh, structuralism. Energy equals mass and mass equals energy, according to Einstein. Okay? So energy is inter interchangeable with mass and mass interchangeable with energy. The famous equation E equals mc squared. Okay? So if you start with energy... Here you see the phenomenology of, of uh, that equation, the famous equation, right, of relativity. You see how energy will create form, form, and content is mass. So you have here the eyeball, you have a nose, and you have this. But I started with a very doodle, and I might write some stuff out. Like here I have, <clears throat> in, Sp in Spanish, oye. Oye number one, oye number two, oye number three means listen number one, listen number two, <clears throat> and listen number three. Really triggered your auditory uh, capabilities to listen, 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 listen. In interconnection, interlace with incredible energy, right? Incredible energy with the eye. The eye and the ear working in perfect balance. Okay, very important because yesterday, whatever I saw in the window, 
that had this kind of energy that looked like a wing or looked like a woman with a white blouse. And I have a business at uh, this a, a whole, uh, an old building, and I made it into a an art hotel. And I have a lot of paintings in the living room, and there's a lot of energy. I did the restoration here, and we felt a lot of energy when we were doing the, the uh, construction work here. And uh, I've seen stuff throughout my life, and I'm very, I'm very aware to stuff that I see that might be imaginary, might be there, might not be there. But if it's not there and you see it there, and this kind of work we do with Jung and active imagination, we want to be able to make something out of that. We want to be able to train that eyeball to be very refined, a very refined eyeball with a very open. Look, I, 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 I didn't even find the need to lay out the head, the head, the head, the brain, the logic, all that stuff. Logic, logos, fathos, emotions are very important because we want to be able to create a balance between body, mind, and soul. Correct? Body, mind, and soul. It's kind of like the trinity. We want to be able to have a complete balance with those energies. But here it's more important to leave the collective unconscious the collective open. Here we go back again. Let's start here. Uh, not start, but let's go through Carl Gustav Jung. Here we have the ego. We have the subconscious and conscious, which is the collective. And then we have the unconscious mind here. This is where all this exciting stuff happens. Because then we can get into the anima, the animas, the male and the female, the divine feminine, the divine masculine. Then we find what? We find the self. The self. And then we can call it a self-portrait. And all this here, we're going to have to deal with the juxtaposition, how we deal with the real and the imaginary, and how we deal with our shadow. The shadow, all this merlurky, all this, all these. This is this is a really beautiful thing about quantum drawing because what you what you're laying out are probabilities. This could be a roadmap to what your your confusion. This could be your roadmap how why you don't see things clear, or why you don't hear, you don't hear linguistically, or you don't hear proper syntax and propositions of what people are trying to project because you cannot hear. If you see and hear, then you have a really refined vision, perspectivism, a peripheral vision with the 3D and the 5D, the 4D, the 7D, the 11D. You have that because that's all the collective unconscious. That's what Jung talks about in synchronicity with the great physicist Wolfgang Pauli. Um, the father of the neutrino subatomic particles that is very reflective of how our behavior works. It's very, our behavior is very uh, paradoxical and it navigates these deep, deep, deep oceans of the collective unconscious. But the more we work with the auditory and the eye and, and really listening, oye, 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 and seeing the eyes, look, I hear the eyes, with mother, with mother nature's eyes, see how the mother, the anima, sees the pimple in the back, sees creation, sees the pashamama, the the mother nature, the soil. How how do we nurture a, a garden? How do we nurture ourselves? How do we nurture by hydrating, by eating well? To do what? To elevate, to elevate, and to grow the mind. Thank you very much and have a great day and practice drawing. Notebook, pen, doesn't matter what it looks like. Doodle, write notes, do it on a daily basis. I did it while having my coffee, my espresso, pencil, pad, notebook pad, eight and a half by 11 notebook. Go back. Put the phone away. Instead of using the phone in the morning, draw in the morning. Get your thoughts together. This will help you plan your day and it will help you to see things for what they are in front of you. Thank you.